the lesson. Today we're going to talk about um, something that happened to a minister in Madagascar. Okay, so Eugene, can you read the first paragraph and I'll have Chopper read the second paragraph. Okay. A minister in Madagascar's government has beaten the odds to survive a helicopter crash and a marathon swim. Serge Jail, the country's secretary of state for police, swam to the mainland on Tuesday after the helicopter he was a passenger in crashed into the Indian Ocean off the island's northeast coast. Um, Mr. Gally was one of two passengers now to have survived the crash. They both swam for 12 hours to reach the shore. Gally told reporters that he used one of the helicopter's seats as a flotion device. News agencies are reporting that at least 39 people perished per perished uh, in the disaster. A police spokesperson spoke spoke said re rescued workers had retrieved 18 bodies. He lamented that the death toll could increase, increase, uh, increase over the next few days. Okay, so what do you think about this incident? Do you think we should all learn survival skills at school? Why or why not? Okay, so Iris, can you answer this question first? Okay. Um, I think we should learn survival skills at school. Um, such as swimming and uh, self-defense. De it means how to protect ourselves. Um, and especially in Taiwan, we have a lot of uh, water watering event. We always going to the beach and the river. Yeah, so I need so my mom let me learn swimming when I was um, six years old. Yeah. So I think this is important. Um, yeah, it's my, that's my answer. Okay, great. Eugene, what about you? I think um, we need to, I think this incident is really terrible if it happen, happens on me. And I think we should all learn survival skills at school because um, we are not always have, we are not always safe, I think. And also if we want to go at the events, then we need to have survival skills and also the the answer that iris said which remind me that in every summer every summer in taiwan there are many people dies when they are playing water 
they are swimming or go to go into river to play in the water. So I think everyone need to learn how to survive when we we have travel in water. Okay, great. Chopper, what do you think? I think we should learn the survival skills at school. Ago. Yeah. Uh, because uh, we don't know uh, when when an accident uh, or this later will happen. Uh, and in uh, and in Taiwan we uh, we have there are uh, rivers and we uh, beside the ocean uh, we need to we need to learn how to swim Uh, how to swim in the water mm. uh, and we can uh, protect by uh, ourselves. Uh, is my answer. Okay. Well, other than saying this is my answer, how can you make a better conclusion? Uh, mm. Okay, so uh, I think we should uh, learn some survival skills. Okay, so so in is my is my opinion. Okay, Iris, how can Chopper? Uh, what would you recommend him to say as a conclusion, so that it sounds like he doesn't have to say. Oh, this mm. is yeah. maybe you can say. Um, let's why I think we should learn survival skills because you uh, support uh, because you um, give some um, ex example so you can make, make a conclusion. Right, that's a good uh, feedback here. Okay, so for here, the discussion questions, would you like to travel in a helicopter? Yuqing, what would you say for this? Um, yes, I would like to travel in a helicopter um, because I think it may be a good experience for me to watch the city on the sky, in the sky. 
Yeah. And also, I would like to um, control the heli helicopter too. Oh, you would like to try it? Yeah. Okay. So, Iris, what would you do if you were stranded in the middle of the ocean? Mm. I, um, I can't imagine it, but I think the most important thing is we need to ensure uh, we can alive. Um, so I we can be alive or yeah. stay alive. Stay alive. We can stay alive. Um, the better way is to finding water and food and keep uh, my emotion emotional emotions cool calm calm yeah and maybe continue to sending um rescue signal oh do you know how you would send a rescue signal um, if i have some device mm -hmm. just call the phone oh so just to call them yeah but usually if you have i don't think you can call Call someone if there's no signal, right? Mm, perhaps. Um, um, yeah. Okay, so try to send a signal, maybe uh, make a fire or try to do something, right? Yes. Okay, great. And Chopper, what are your survival skills like? If you were stranded on the island, what would you do? <laughs> My survival skills like uh, jellyfish float. Like what? Yeah. Jellyfish float or survive survival floating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What? So one is jellyfish and what is what's the other one? Like a uh, jellyfish. It is just uh, floating on the ocean. Oh, that's your survival skills. Yeah. A jellyfish uh, float. Yeah. Uh, you. What does Iris think about the jellyfish float? Is that a survival <laughs> skill? Uh, what does yeah. Iris think about this? She's laughing. Are you sure? <laughs> He's full of the water. Uh, maybe you you can. Uh, create create some times to uh, to uh, float on the ocean. Yeah, you may uh, you may uh, call help <laughs> and wait somebody uh, help happened so you want to wait for someone uh yeah just only <laughs> okay so you want to wait for someone to help you mm. to stay alive St uh yeah stay alive okay 
Interesting. Okay, so here I would also like to ask you, what would you do? What do you think it would happen if you're stranded in the middle of the ocean? And what would you do to stay alive? What are like some of the most important things for you to stay alive? Let's start with Yu Ching. What would you do? Mm, I think I will try to find uh, stuff to help me floating mm -hmm. and try not too hard to swimming because it's easy to lose my energy and I think I will, if I could find something to flow, to help me floating, mm -hmm. I will just float and wait. To stay afloat? Yeah. Okay. And sometimes drink ocean, ocean's water. Okay. Iris, what about you? Uh, the first one, I will find some piece, a piece of wood uh, or something make ensure I I can float floating. Um, and I think finding land and sure is sure sure is important um just keep the same uh, direction way yeah um and i think we need to um collect it rent and You uh yes, rinse to drink is better than ocean's water. <laughs> um so I will uh catch catching fish or bird bird mm -hmm. um, fish, bird and um ocean's creatures to from the sea um, for food and to ensure I um, ensure I ensure survival. To ensure your survival or to survive. Wait. To survive. Two, five. Okay. Chopper, what do you think about this question? <clears throat> hmm. I can imagine, but I think, I think, uh, I think I'm going to die. <laughs> uh, maybe I I will do same way like Yuchen's uh Yuchen way uh find some items. Let me float on ocean. On the ocean, uh, and uh, I will try to wait. Uh, and hope some uh some guys can find me.
Is there anything else that you find would be useful if someone was stranded on the island? Mm. Mm. I won't try to swim. Uh, and I uh because I scared uh because I uh I scare uh uh round off round out of my energy and uh I think my swim swim skill is not good <laughs> your swimming yeah. skills can you swim how well mm. Uh, just just let me go ahead yeah so i uh don't think i will uh, i can swim to the island to an island uh, to an island yeah uh, i will choose wait Sorry, did you have a conclusion? Uh, okay, so. Uh, okay, I think I will wait and do nothing. It let can uh can let me stay alive. Please. Okay. Uh, is, there, is there something that you, so. you need hmm. to learn to stay alive or something you would want to know how to do to stay alive? I think I do nothing, nothing to do. Uh, uh, and I will be alive. Okay, try to stay alive, okay. So here is the role play. So here we have, you think the most useful survival skill is to think straight, make fire, or hunt, okay? So I'm gonna give thinking straight to Chopper, making fire to Yuching, and hunting to Iris, okay? Let's take a minute break and then come back to the debate, okay? Okay. Great. 